let's go ahead and begin. Go ahead and pick the amp. Let's go ahead and pick a rolling jazz chorus. So we're going to go ahead and pick a rolling jazz chorus from the amp. So look for a rolling jazz chorus amp. There we go. Let's go ahead and put the gain at 41. And there's a trick to this tone patch and I'll show you in a minute. And let's go ahead and put the level at 75. Okay. Next in the chain, we're going to go ahead and put the bass at 50. We're going to go ahead and put the middle at 65. We're going to put the treble at 13. And the presence, we'll go ahead and keep it at zero. Now let's go ahead for the purposes of this tone patch, see where the amp is on. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And you'll see why I did that. Let's continue. Uh, the bright, we're going to go ahead and keep the bright off. And the T-comp, we're going to go ahead and keep that off as well. Let's continue. Now the limiter, see how we have uh, the limiter and the compressor? Let's go ahead and click the limiter on is what we want. See the bottom right? Now we're on the limiter. So the threshold, we're going to go ahead and put it at 35. The release for the limiter, let's go ahead and put it at 35 as well. The tone, let's go ahead and leave the tone at zero and the effect level at 72. Remember I turned the amp off? I needed that amp, but I needed to turn it off too to get this. Put the amp on. Put the amp off. Lend itself more to what I want to do. So there are the settings for the limiter. Let's continue. Uh, and next in the chain, uh, see the overdrive distortion? We're not going to use any overdrive distortion. So let's go ahead and keep that off. Uh, the noise gate. I have my noise gate set at 56. So go ahead. Also, uh, when you're looking at my videos, if you don't have my uh, dial settings, look at the tone knob positioning. So right there, that would be what, 1 p.m. on the face of the clock. So go ahead and you, you know, dial in my tones this way. Uh, so if you don't have 56, uh, that may be 1 o'clock on your uh, noise gate. So let's go ahead and follow it that way. Again, all my tones are not exact, but they come damn well close as a great emulation simulation of the actual guitar tone. Given that I have the Boss Eban JS10, which has the Boss GT100 effects processor already built into this unit, I can create endless um, guitar tones at my uh, fingertips and I have a really good ear to get as close to the real thing without having to spend all that money. So even though my tones may not be exact to your liking maybe, uh, these are templates. So go ahead when you dial them in, tweak them. You want to add more reverb or less delay and so on and so forth. That's where you come into play and you can make these tones. Uh, to your liking or make them even sound even better if that's even possible because I do have all the best tones <laughs> And that concludes <laughs> All right, let's continue. So the noise thing I have it at 56 <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're gonna go to the EQ This is the uh, the pudding the pudding or the the proof is in the pudding. Here it is Let's have some pudding <laughs> All right, the low gain we're gonna put it at minus four See on the bottom right, I have the EQ on, so I'm putting your EQ on. High gain, I leave it at zero, and then level, I have it at plus 10. Okay. Make sure I got my amp off. I got my amp off there, good. Let's go back to the EQ. Okay, so we got minus four, zero, and plus 10. Next in the EQ chain, we're gonna put the low mid frequency at 1.0. Low mid Q, let's go ahead and put it at one. Low mid gain, let's put it at minus eight. Sounds more country every time, doesn't it? Let's go next. We're going to go ahead and put the high mid frequency at 8.00. High mid Q, let's go ahead and leave it at one. High mid gain, let's go ahead and put that at plus four. 
tone patches for free um, I don't charge for my tone patches you don't have to subscribe and pay uh, a fee for my tone patches. you get these for free why because I can but that's me okay so the low cut I keep it at flat and the high cut I have it at 6.3 all right all right let's go next we're done with the EQ <laughs> We're going to go the modulations. What modulations are that I have are all these effects. So I have it off. So let's ignore that. We're going to do delay last. Let's go to the reverb. So the reverb is off right now. For, for the reverb, for these tone patches, I'm going to put it at room. I'm going to go ahead and put the reverb time at 3.0. The high cut, we're going to leave it at 4. And the effect level, we're going to put it at 28. So this is the tone patch with no reverb. <laughs> Turn it on. Subtle, but there it is. Now, to make a jump and stand out, we're going to put a delay time of 386. We're going to go ahead and put the feedback at, um, up at a 4. We're going to put the high cut at flat and then the effect level at 74. Of course, I don't know how to chicken pick, but you get the idea. We're going for the tone. We can chicken pick, more power to you. I wish I could play it, but I can't. But I got the tone and now you will too. Here we go. Let's turn the delay on. chicken pig but I don't care you get the idea <laughs>